People who take me down from the treehouse are professional climbers, like, and they're climbing these amazingly old trees, part of this like one-of-a-kind forest. Yet they're working for a company that wants to destroy it just to get coal out of the ground. I'm Lou, mm -hmm. and we're here outside the Hambaka Forest at the legal demonstration. So the eviction started early Thursday morning and they came with cranes, they came with cherry pickers, uh, they came with harvesters to destroy the um, trees and the young trees and basically cut uh, their way into the occupations so then they could bring the heavy machinery on and evict people from the tree houses. It was really surreal, like, um, get yeah, very emotional. Um, so it was, yeah, really heartbreaking in that way. It, it's just a really crazy situation when, you know, we're feel, really feeling the effects of climate change right now and they don't care, they don't do anything, they don't want to stop it, they're just doing their job. Uh, for me, it's it's part of a wider international struggle. What is happening here, the coal that is being mined and then fueling climate change is a global problem. So uh, for me, it was really important to come here and support the fight and stand in solidarity with this fight here and also struggles around the world against climate change, against capitalism, against racism. You know, it's, this is part of a much wider struggle against the general system as it is. I just hope that people everywhere, you know, show their solidarity in whatever way that they can. We're trying to just bring as much attention to this issue as possible and showing that we're not going to just let it happen, that we want to stop it and we're going to keep on fighting until it, some change happens.